This week's highlight reel is presented by Subs.com. Play action. Weber going to roll left. Rose has a man. And he's in. Touchdown. It's caught by number nine, Logan Roush. First and ten here for the Chieftains out of the timeout. Dawson Weber's in line. Two back set. Split receivers and Weber to pass. Looking left. Rose left. Open receivers. Haas. He has the catch. He stiff arms a man. And he is gone. That will be a touchdown. From the 25-yard line, that is a 75-yard touchdown reception for Joe Haas. A Northland Buildings touchdown, Wally. Get two receivers right. High formation behind Richard. And it is a sneak this time, and yes, it looks like Richard's in. Yep. And he is in. Touchdown. Waiting for the official signal. That is a Northland Buildings touchdown. A one-yard TD quarterback sneak by Tyson Richard. Receiver to the left. Back to the backfield. It's Groom. Dives ahead. He's in. Touchdown, Isaiah Groom. One yard out. Cassville looking for a three-score lead. They have a second and goal from the two. Weber pitches. Outside, Saar turns the corner and he's in. Touchdown. Two-yard touchdown run by River Saar. And the Potosi Cassville Chieftains lead by three scores now, 24 to seven. Yeah, we're receivers right, one left, shotgun for Richard. Humans, he fumbled it, picks it up, rolls right, throws, has a man, it's caught, it's Bossin, he dives, he's in, touchdown. It's Gavin Bossin from 10 yards out with the strike. And it'll make it now a two-score game. Cuba City needed that one. They absolutely needed that touchdown. It's a Northland Buildings touchdown. First and goal from inside the two. Handoff to Groom, and he is in for the touchdown. They're saying, hold on, this ain't over yet. Two receivers to either side. 5-11 to play. Shotgun for Richard, back to pass. Throws over the middle again, it's caught again. In stride and running into the end zone is Cruiser for the touchdown. 40 yards out. 40 yard touchdown, quick pitch and throw. Four plays and a TD. That's a Northland Buildings touchdown and just like that, Cuba City back in this thing, Wally. It's running at the 14 yard line, 5.50 to play in the first quarter, still no score. Lancaster's Seventh play of the drive coming up here. Another swing pass to the near side to Gildersleeve. Gildersleeve has some blockers. Tiptoes the sideline, finds the pylon for a Northland Buildings touchdown. Really? Wolf ready for the snap here. Here's the snap. Another quick throw to the outside to Gildersleeve once again. Gildersleeve working down the sideline, breaks free. Easy in, he is. It's a touchdown for Lancaster. Yana's in the backfield this time. Carry the lone receiver to Ackerman's left. Yana now moves to the right of Ackerman. Here's the snap. Ackerman cuts it up the middle. It's a mineral point touchdown. Their first of the game. Two it's receivers to each side of the formation. Wolf looking back to Benson. Pistol look this time. As Wolf gets ready for the snap, he takes it, makes it inside to Benson, looking for Benson over the middle, pass is caught! Benson breaks away across the 20, to the 10, to the end zone, touchdown, Flying Arrows! A big, big Northland Buildings touchdown to slam the door shut on the Mineral Point Pointers, 20 to six, Lancaster on top, with a minute 44 to go in the game, a clutch touchdown by Samaji Benson, the third touchdown pass of the game for Nolan Wolf. And the arrows will serve to start as Abby Timmerman, the senior, rotates in to serve, backcourt left. Give the ball several dribbles. The officials nearly set. Whistle says they are set. And we're underway with Timmerman punching it across. Forwarded up from the midcourt for the Wolves. A bump set near side. The attack over. Going to be dug out in the midcourt. Popped up. Midcourt left. A reverse pass over the net. 
forward set middle hitter spot. Zinkel is going to go attack and kill over the net. So Reagan Zinkel gets River Ridges first, and it's one nothing Timberwolves. Front cat for Jensen. Four serving one line. Caster off to a fast start. That one dug a little more smartly. Pass middle, attacked by Zinkel. Popped up in the midcourt right. A forward set front left. Cross court attack off the block. Morgan rolls back to the center square. A push across by Gage. Forwarded from the back middle. Set front left attack over the top. A little soft toss. And then a punch back over across by River Ridge. Forward set middle hitter. Spot the attack off the block. Doug middle punch back over by Zinkel. And now forward from the back, and Rukov tap over the top, and in for the kill for Megan Cruel. Nimitz the line serve across, pop forward by Drone, set middle hitter spot across by Adrian. Bump pass far side, and forwarded up. Back set right, nice off the block. Pass forward, a reverse set front left, cross court spike is going to be in for the kill, Nicole Kelly paints the line. For Lancaster, 24, serving 20. Rukoff will bounce to Abby Timmerman, who comes back in. Tries to put the bow on set number one. Timmerman punches across. Ball dug, and they can't get a return. It goes as an ace, and Timmerman. Wraps up set one for Lancaster, 25 to 20. The Arrows take set one. And shoot Mallory Krubel back to serve. She'll go right, which is right of the basketball lane. Well, I would define it. Now she'll punch into the net, and that's set one. So, identical scores in the first two sets, 25-20. Lancaster, an opportunity to sweep the Timberwolves out of town in set three. We'll bring it. And it's set point, match point for Lancaster. 24 serving 22. Lauren Rukoff. Backcourt middle serve on the way. Popped up in the midcourt, a bump, and they couldn't get the return. That's your night. 25-20, 25-20, 25-22. River Ridge starts 0-1. That's the first win in the coaching career. Varsity level of Madison Devlin in the Lancaster Flying Arrows 2024 campaign.